Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Bram Report with your free NHL hockey previews and predictions today for Monday. It is February 19th. Hope you're having yourself a good start to your cash out Monday. As always, don't forget, subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner or hit the subscribe button below this video if you're using a mobile device. Today's podcast is brought to you by the Bram Report. Come and check out the Bram Report today at atsstats.com. All right, let's get to the, um, let's go with the uh, SBI today. We'll start it off with the SBI and the markets, see what's uh, coming in in the favorites, underdogs, the overs, the unders. And uh, you can see yesterday, only three games in the uh, Batman circuit and a uh, pretty good day for the underdogs on the puck line, 3-0. and And if you look at the uh, seven-day average neutral market, though, 56.3% uh, of the uh, puck line favorites have uh, won the um uh, the range right here. So favorites coming in at a 56.3% uh, clip, 43.7 for the uh, underdogs. And uh, yeah, yesterday, big, uh, big day for the underdogs. In fact, they won all three. And on the seven day average for favorites, wow, 72.9% of favorites in the NHL are winning at a high clip. And you compare that to 598 So I'm going to keep an eye on the under uh, favorites uh, here in the next uh, seven days or so because uh, you can see right here the three-day average, 71, 67. So above yearly average. So we're in a bull market right now in favorites. And the over, 59.3. In fact, I got some selections that I, uh, I did a little bit of homework, uh, groundwork here at the beginning. I'm going to tell you guys the picks that I'm looking at right now. I'll handicap a couple of them, and uh, we'll see if we can get uh, some more winners for you guys today. All right, uh, let's go to your um, computer picks today for uh, Monday, President's Day in the United States. And uh, we'll get some afternoon delights. And looking forward to that Dallas-Boston game. That's going to be a good one at uh, TD Gardens. All right, let's take a look at the Buffalo Sabres taking on the Anaheim Ducks. Minus 182 is the line, 6.5 is the total. And we're going to leave with the Sabres in this one. 3.5 to 2.8, the over-under at 6.44. Buffalo coming in, 5-5 five five last 10. While Anaheim, man, they got smoked in their last game, 9-2 against uh, the Maple Leafs. Speaking of those Leafs, they'll be in St. Louis today. Uh, 1 p.m. Uh, puck drop, 149 is the line here on the Buds, and 6.5 is the total. And we're going to go right back to Toronto here, 3.3 to 2.8, the over-under at 6.2. Toronto coming off that 7-goal uh, win against uh, the Anaheim Ducks. Their uh, last seven games have gone over the total, while the last four have gone over for the St. Louis Blues. That's why your Kogo is very low here at 23%. Kogo stands for chance of game going over the total and the st louis blues they're playing some good hockey right now they're also seven and three like the leafs in their last 10 games all right the game of the day will be at uh, td gardens between the boston bruins and the dallas stars coming off that tough fourth three loss to the oilers last game well boston they lost 5-4 in overtime to the kings on saturday hey the bees are on a four game losing streak so they're bearish right now and you don't want to be playing dallas they're bullish they're seven and three in their last 10 they're a uh, but they're an underdog today look at that they're an underdog against the Boston Bruins. Hmm. Hey, sometimes you just got to shake your head and then you got to ask yourself, what is the bookmaker seeing that I'm not seeing? Like I did last night in that uh, Pittsburgh uh, Kings game, right? I thought Pittsburgh, you know, I thought um, the Kings should have been probably like almost a pick them. And I said, well, Pittsburgh's favorite. So, you know what? We'll, we'll look at the value index right now. Look at the, the Boston Bruins, minus 127. Look at my line, minus 142. So getting a bit of a discount, but you got to ask yourself, why is the Boston Bruins, who are on a four game losing streak, uh, the favorite against uh, one of the top teams in the NHL, who's 34 and 21, the Dallas Stars. But who's going to argue with the analytics? Because the computer pick is going to go with the bees in this one. 3.1 to 2.7, the over under at 5.91. Little Butch Goring action right there, right? Every time I see these totals, always then I see these numbers, always remind me of players, right? Uh, speaking of players, what a what a great ceremony yesterday with uh, Jagger. Man, the Leafs. I mean, the Penguins. You got to win that. Anytime you have a like a Hall of Famer or, you know, like, uh, you know, a Banner Knight. You know how much pressure it is on those teams to win those games. But uh, you know what? Uh, we did get the under in that game. So I guess there is some type of, uh, um, you know, a victory, a small victory for uh, for the betters yesterday if you took the under in that game. All right, so we do like Boston in this one, 3.1 to 2.7, the over-under at 5.91. And look at the chance of winning, 51.8. Going to be a good one today at the... Uh, in Boston. All right, Vancouver Canucks off that tough lot. You know what? I watched that game Saturday night, the uh, Vancouver Canucks and Winnipeg Jets. That was probably one of the best games I see, top five th that I've seen this year. Two teams were just flying all over the ice, good goaltending, and uh, Winnipeg just got two quick ones in the third period. And man, that was probably one of the best games. If you get a chance to watch Vancouver, Winnipeg this season, those are two really good hockey teams. All right, uh, minus 125 is the line, six and a half is the total. I'm going to lean with the. Um, I'm going to leave with the Canucks in this one, 3.4 to 2.7, the over-under at 6.2. I 
And uh, we like this total to land on 6.2, so we lo like it to go under the total. Minnesota, 7-3 in our last 10. All right, Seattle Kraken taking on the Red Wings. We do have uh, Seattle win this one, 3.5 to 2.8. The over-under at 6.4, and uh, Seattle on a two-game win streak. But 4-6 uh, and six the last 10. They're playing on three days rest, and I had the line at minus 136, so fair market value if you do like that game. I did have Seattle, um, the, um, the, the Kraken, on the over in this game. But uh, when I saw Detroit off that 5 nothing loss, and I got a system, anytime you got an underdog off a five-goal loss, um, what was it here? Was it uh, the uh, oh, a five goal win? Sorry, a five goal win. Uh, I got numbers pointing to the under, so I did like the over in this game because uh, I do have a nice system on the over. But when I saw that uh, five goal uh, win, and uh, there, there's a trend that I follow that's pretty good to the under, so I just got off that game. Edmonton uh, f following the uh, following, taking on the Arizona Coyotes at the Mullet Arena. Hey, what a great name for uh, an arena, the Mullet Arena, fitting with the Jagger yesterday, right? 3.4 to 2.8, the over-under at 6.24. So we do like Edmonton to win this game here today against uh, Arizona. 4 p.m. Uh, puck drop in the desert. Edmonton's last seven games have gone over the total, while the uh, yeah the Coyotes, they're on a nine-game slide, so be careful. All right, Winnipeg off that big emotional win Saturday night against the Vancouver Canucks. They're on a three-game winning streak right now, so could be a little bit of a letdown spot here against Calgary. 4 p.m. Eastern's puck drop in Alberta. And uh, we do like the Jets, again, 3.03 .03 to 2.8, the over-under at 5.89. So we do like it to go over the total. And you got two teams going in the opposite directions. Winnipeg on a three-game win streak and Calgary on a three-game losing streak. They lost 5-0 to the Red Wings. So they're going to be in a nasty mood here today against Winnipeg. And um, you know what? That's a tough game to handicap right there. But um, I just... Off that 4-2 win over Vancouver, it's just to me, there's a good spot for a letdown. Maybe Calgary puck line is where you want to lean. Vegas taking on the San Jose Shark, 2.8 to 2.86 to 2.8 for the uh, Golden Knights. And uh, the over-under is only 5.5 in this game. That's because San Jose can't score. And uh, we do have the uh, the Golden Knights as a at minus 270 chalk in this one. They're on a two-game lose streak. Lost 3-1 to uh, good Her uh, Carolina Hurricanes team. And uh, you got Vegas neutral cycle right now against another team's in the neutral cycle. Neutral just means in the rain report the team is either four and three or three and four in the last seven games. And look at the over under eight one and one for the Vegas uh, Golden Knights in their last ten games. Ottawa Senators taking on Tampa Bay Lightning and uh, the Bolts. Yeah, they're going to be in a bad mood today. They got hammered on uh, Saturday against their uh, uh, state rival Florida Panthers. Nine to two was a final. That was like a game like Toronto and Anaheim. And uh, Ottawa, they lost 3-2 to uh, Chicago last game. Last seven games for the Sens, I've gone over the total. And we do like Tampa Bay in this one. 3.5 to 2.8, the over-under at 6.43. So we do have it staying under the total. And the Kogo, look at that, 28%. That's because of this right here. Last seven on the percentage play. And your final game of the evening will be played in rally between the Canes and the Chicago Blackhawks. And Chicago beating Ottawa 3-2 in the last game. Travel to Carolina as a, a big, huge underdog. Look at that. Minus 435 is the line, 5.5 is the total. We're going to lean with the Canes in this one, 3.1 to 2.5, the over-under at 5.69. So we do have this game uh, going over the total, and those are your computer picks today for uh, Monday, President's Day, February 19th, and Family Day if you live in Ontario and Canada. So um, happy holidays to everybody if you're enjoying the day off. And let's uh, go to the dashboard. And uh, let's the picks that I here's the picks that I'm looking at. So I got a really good system on favorites coming off a one goal loss or actually a, a one goal win, and I believe uh, Buffalo fits that system today. So anytime you got a favorite coming off a one goal win, 122 and 55, that's a pretty good record right there. And uh, let me see what Buffalo. Um, it's just a little chalky at minus 182. And looking at the Sabers, five and five, six and four on the puck line. Now here's what I'm looking at. Yeah, so overvalued. So I'd rather play a team that's overvalued. So if you look at my VI, the value index, I'd rather go with a team that's overvalued than undervalued. A good example is uh, the Pittsburgh Penguin game last night and uh, the chance of winning 64.07%. Uh, I just wish this was under 40%. Anytime I see an underdog at 40% or higher, um, you got to go, you got to give it some consideration because when you look at the SBI that I talked about, remember on the year, I said the, uh, the favorites are winning at a 59 point something clip. That's 60% favorites, 40% underdogs, right? So you see where we make the correlation right there, right? With the favorites and underdogs. So that's where you get a chance if you do. So you say you got a chance. Yeah, you might have a chance. Um, 
Two C-type teams, uh, that just means two teams below 500. Buffalo Sabres on the season, 24 and 30. Anaheim, 19 and 35. Anaheim, 6 and 4 in the last 10 trips to Buffalo. So they do have a little bit of success. Buffalo, not really dominant against the uh, the Ducks, 5 and 5. So again, these are, I'm going to show you the, the teams that I was looking at earlier. Um, you know, because they're C-type teams, I only bet beer and pizza money on those type of teams. So I would... Um, I would be cautious on this one. I, you know, thing that worried me a bit here. Anaheim does pretty good in Buffalo, and they're coming off a, a seven-goal loss. So you know that uh, it hasn't been fun since that loss, right? So you're gonna get a better uh, out, uh, better performance out of the Ducks today. I do like the Sabers, maybe Anaheim puck line, but uh, maybe we just uh, get off that game, right? Boston over the total. That's the other one I like too. Is uh, Dallas Boston over the total? And uh, let's take a look at the uh, the technicals, as they say in the industry. Um, on this game here so five and a half is the line and you can see here eight and two last ten for the Dallas Stars when they face the Boston Bruins so uh, a lot of games have gone over what's the Kogo at see Kogo's at 28 percent that kind of scares me a bit this is based on the percentage play of the law of average theory and uh, yeah so that worried me just a bit Boston against uh, eight type teams yeah they uh, they tend to show up for these games anytime Boston's at home against teams with a 60 or higher win percentage look at that four and one straight up Four and one on the puck line, where Dallas is seven and four against teams with a 50 to 59.9 win percentage, and uh, but Dallas only four and six in their last ten to Boston, and Boston they got their number eight and two. So um, at first, you know what, eight and two to the under. So that kind of scares me right there. Every time these two teams meet, last 10, 80 percent of the games have gone under. So again, um, just giving you guys my feelings on some of these games that I have right now. I haven't pulled the trigger on any of these yet for a bet. But um, I'm still leaning uh, towards the over, but that kind of makes me a little bit worried. This kind of makes me a little bit worried right here, 28% on the Kogo. Because if it's 28%, that means what? 72% uh, percent, uh, going uh, under the total, right? So, hmm. um, yeah, so maybe, you know, anytime I get these kind of indicators, it, you know, it talks me in and out of it, right? So I don't have a lot of confidence in the total right now, but these are things that fit the system as I started to handicap this. Let's take another one that I like. St. Louis and Toronto over the total. And uh, let's see here. Toronto, St. Louis. And uh, Maple Leafs coming off that big win. They're on a three-game win streak. In fact, look at their last three games. Last three games, averaging 5.67 goals and only giving up two. So they've been stingy uh, between the pipes. And Toronto in St. Louis, 5-5 five and five straight up, 5-3-2. Five, and two. And for the St. Louis Blues, they're playing some good hockey right now. And uh, they're four and four against B-type teams. Toronto only two and one on the road against the Bs. And uh, but I do like the over in this game. I do like the over. And uh, Toronto's on an over uh, streak right now. So is St. Louis. So again, another team where the the Kogo's very low. Again, Kogo's the percentage play. And look at that. In between these two teams combined, 17 and three to the over. So uh, just like the stock market, what goes up must come down. So this is why you handicap. And, and here I'm going to give you guys a good tip that I've learned a long, long time ago. Sometimes the best bet you make is the one you don't make in sports betting, right? You live another day. and But again, for this uh, show, I'm just giving you guys my feel. But uh, I'm just not sure if I'm going to pull it on that one yet. All right, the other one I like, Minnesota over against Vancouver. Man, Vancouver's a really good hockey team. Tockett's got these guys flying right now. Um, they're off that 4-2 loss. Minnesota 7-3 in their last 10. Chance of winning 60.9% for the, the Canucks. And uh, looking at some of the other, look at that, 12 and 3 to the over for Vancouver. So I do like the over here. And if you look at um, Vancouver in Minnesota, 4, 5, and 1, I can live with that. 3 and 7 to the under, though. I wish, I wish this was more 40%, 50%, right? Get uh, closer to that uh, midline. And let me see some of the stats and trends. Um, in the month of February, yep, okay. 18, 10, and 2 after a conference game to the over. Yeah, so a lot of, a lot of indicators pointing towards the over. And, but the thing is, anytime I handicap, and if I get, say, let's say this was all unders and this was all overs in the road, I always lean to the home team's uh, edges when it comes to uh, falling the edge. But you know what? This might be one that I, I really like with the over in the, um, of all the picks that I've talked about so far, I think this one here might make the cut. And the last one, San Jose against, I think this is a Chicago, or is it, let me see, San Jose, Vegas, yeah, Vegas and uh, San Jose. Take a look at this one. We got uh, the Golden Knights minus 275 and a half, nine and one on the puck line. Now San Jose, aren't, did they come off a, a long road trip here? Let me see here. No, they, okay, they did have one road. One, two, three. Okay, no, it was only three games on the road. 
in the last game they won four, lost four to three to the Blue Jackets. But uh, let's take a look at the numbers right here. 42% on the Kogo. It's okay. I don't mind that. 54.8% chance. The um, I'm looking at the total here in this one. Seven and four, one and three. And what about the head-to-head -head matchups? Ooh, two and eight. Vegas only two and eight in their last ten to the uh, Shark Tank to the under. And um, yeah, you know what? Um, don't like that. That's one thing I really look at. I look how a team plays in other teams' buildings. Sometimes, you know, um, you know, it's like fights, right? Styles make fights. And sometimes uh, certain teams don't do well in, in, against teams in certain buildings. And Vegas does well straight up, but I'm not laying 270 uh, to, um, to San Jose, who's really not that good of a team. 15 and 39, 11 and 14 to the over-under. So nothing really. And what's the Kogo at again? 42%. You know what? Maybe a small lean. Small, small lean to the over. And I'll take that one on a small lean. And which one did I say also? I think it was the um, Minnesota, right? Yeah, I think it was Minnesota over Vancouver, Minnesota. So those are the two that I kind of like right now. And I'm going to lean towards. And uh, if you go to the website today, picks, go to Ron's free picks. I will post my free pick right here. And you'll see uh, which one I really like today. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the NHL report today for a, a little bit uh, longer. I'll probably get some comments. Hey, just get to the picks. But hey. This is why you watch the show, right? For the information, knowledge. And uh, we've been online here since uh, 19, um, 98, 98, 1998. Not my first barbecue. All right, folks, have yourself a great rest of your day. And uh, as always, shop for value, play those percentages. I'll see you back shortly with another rain report.